Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about replication of rules in AWS S3. So, what is replication? Basically, you will be able to copy S3 bucket objects, whatever objects uploaded in the buckets, to the same region in another bucket, or you can do also copy the objects from one region from one account to different account and different region so let us go to our amazon console window and check how to implement this so i have logged into my aws console i will go ahead and select s3 in the s3 bucket i am going to create one bucket named as digital tag joint so it should be lowercase so digital tag joint bucket one and this will be created in mumbai ap south one and uh, i'm going to enable versioning and create the bucket okay so i've already created the bucket now i'll create one more bucket where i will enable replication so i will enable replication on this bucket that will enable me to replicate all the objects uploaded in this bucket into the new bucket that i'm going to create so now this bucket which i'm going to create i will create in a different region so here instead of mumbai i'll select singapore ap southeast and I select ACL enabled rest all options will be the same and I click the bucket now this bucket I have created in a another region so I'm getting a response conflicting condition so this is okay, let me just check let me create a different name bucket over here Fine, so there was some conflicts in the name. So basically now there are two buckets. Digital Tension Bucket 1 and Digital Tension Bucket 3. What I'm going to do is that whenever somebody uploads object in Bucket 1, I need to replicate that into the another region that is Singapore. So let's go ahead and click on the bucket where we need to implement replication. I select the bucket. I go to Management. And there is an option called Replication Rule. I click on create replication rule. I give the replication rule ID. So I say replication rule 1. Okay. And then there is a source bucket. So I need to provide the source bucket. So the rule says limit the scope of this rule using one or more filter or apply to all the objects. I select apply to all the objects. Then it comes destination. Where do you want to store? the objects uploaded in this bucket to which bucket you want to store so here i'm going to choose choose a bucket in this account so i'm going to choose a bucket in this account but this also gives the capability to choose a bucket from a different aws account now here if i have this is an aws account and i want to move to some other aws account i can definitely do that in the same region so it's possible that there are two ids and two aws account and if there is one bucket created in account one mumbai south east zone or southwest zone and in the amazon second account also there is a bucket created in mumbai zone then i can have the capability to move this bucket from one one account to another aws account right now in order to do that you need to provide 12 digit aws account id and the bucket name now this 12 digit aws account id can be fetched when you click on the extreme right corner over here so when you click on this you'll be able to see the aws account id for now we are going to use choose a bucket in this account and i'm going to select the bucket that i created in singapore southeast region so i select this bucket three so this is created now this is prompting me to enable replication requires versioning so i need to enable versioning in the bucket that will get replicated for for in this instance my digital tech joint bucket 3 needs 
bucket uh, versioning so enable that so it's enabled in this bucket and it says choose from the existing im rule i say create new role and then rest all option i keep it these are some additional replication option that enables this is the option where you want to replicate in in uh, you know um, give a replication time control and uh, what matrix you need to order and whether you want to move the deleted objects and everything R right now i'm happy with the option that i selected and i click on save so it prompts do you want to replicate the ex existing objects in the bucket one folder so right now i say no so we'll do as it is I have not uploaded anything in digital tech join bucket one so let's go ahead now we can see buckets there are two buckets one created in mumbai south asia uh, zone and then second bucket that is created in singapore south east zone i will select digital tech join bucket one and upload some files i select an image i select one i select a ppt and i click on upload so both the files are uploaded so you see in digital tech join bucket one both the files are uploaded now it takes some time to replicate these objects in the second bucket which is there in a different region so let's go ahead and see whether it's replicated so right now it is not replicated it might take around two three two to three seconds but let us wait and so that i can show it to you yes so it just took two minutes or less than two minutes and we are able to see objects in our singapore region bucket also so this is how you need to enable it so i uploaded two files over here in this bucket and then it did a cross replication and stored the same in into another bucket which was there in another region so i hope you like this video and i recommend everybody that you go ahead and watch my s3 videos that i released which contains um, with right from the introduction so i have created a lot of videos related to s3 so i hope that you watch this video that will show you the playlist so this is the playlist i created a video on the introduction on simple storage service and how to enable bucket versioning how to host a website on s3 and how to generate pre-send url for sharing private files to selected users so i recommend that you go through these videos and i hope you like this video uh, please do subscribe my channel like my videos sh share my channel with all your friends and colleagues and help us to grow our network thank you for your time